Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Empress. I am the Empress. <laughs> Today I am walking to one of my favorite restaurants and I'm walking because the parking really sucks. But um, you can hear the Spanish music as I approach. If you know me, you know I love Spanish food, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Peruvian, whatever it is. If it got some Spanish flavor, I'm with the shits. So, I am walking to one of my favorite Dominican restaurants called Costan Bar in Patterson, New Jersey. So let's go check them out. in Patterson, New Jersey. Um, so the way I found out about this place is that I have happened to have a lot of Hispanic friends throughout my life. Dominican, Puerto Rican, uh, Colombian, all different types. I don't really know how that happened in my life. I'm just drawn to who I'm drawn to, but I've always loved Spanish food, Spanish culture, the food, the music, the dance, all of that. It's almost like I must have been Hispanic in another life or something like that. But I did my ancestry and I wasn't, so just must be me. <laughs> Maybe some past life shit. I don't know. But Costan Bar is a place that I fell in love with because of their potato salad, believe it or not. Potato salad in Spanish is ensalada de papa. And the best potato salad I ever had in my life. Please, mom, don't cuss me out. I'm going to get you some. You're going to say the same thing. But yeah, I love Dominican food. And Costan Bar is like Dominican food heaven. They pretty much have everything there that you could possibly think of from goat to chicken to steak to fish. I love this place. Whenever I'm like home and I'm like, I don't want to go far, but I want something good. That's the spot I go to. Okay. So today I have um, in Spanish, I'm going to try to say this in Spanish. Okay. And they put everything in one container and I just love it. Um, but this is Biste um, with arroz con godules y habichuelas y ensoboyado y <laughs> peppers. I don't know how to say peppers in Spanish. I guess I should do translate before I say this, but as you can see, it looks juicy and delicious. Maybe not nutritious, but indeed delicious. So let's see what's goody good because I'm hungry. Okay. Working overtime, make a girl hungry. Okay. Let's start with just the habichuelas, which is red beans, which really means beans in Spanish, habichuelas. Um, I like to try things separately for y'all. Mm. Beans are tender. That sauce is amazing. Something about that Spanish flavor, like I really feel like it's the sofrito, which is like a mixture of peppers and onions and garlics and cilantro and all these things grounded up together. And it's it gives it that Spanish flavor. If you had just regular beans without that flavor, it's not the same. Um, and arroz con gondules is this yellow rice with these little pigeon peas, they call them. Um, and it's delicious. Mmm. Ciao. Here's that number word. This is absolutely one of my favorites. This steak, I don't know what cut it is, but it's super thin. And when they cook it down, 
it gets to be just so tender that it practically just melts in your mouth. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that just look so juicy and light and velvety? It just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Child. Post on bar don't never let me down. Mmm. Mmm. And, mmm, child, it literally just melts away in your mouth. Like, I barely have to chew it. It's not dry. It's moist. It's just delightful. I really can't really put another word on it other than delightful. I, I definitely love that you have so many choices when you go there. But be steady. It's just my favorite. And when I'm craving steak, this is what I crave. Because a lot of times you go to a restaurant, you get a steak. Sometimes not cooked the way you like it. This steak is delicious. I don't know if they pound it out first or what, but it's just so good. Mm. Very comforting on a fall night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But do y'all see this steak? Don't you just want to just eat it? Just, it just says, eat me. Eat me. And I will. <laughs> but look, you don't have to cut it. Mm. Nice and juicy. Um. Mm. That's so good. So y'all already know, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. If you've never had Dominican food and you want to try some Dominican food, that's a great place to go because they have so many damn options. They even have, um, what is that? Octopus? I forget how to say that in Spanish. I think it's pulpo. P-U-L-P-O. But they take octopus and they make it just like this, like in a stew. If you fuck with octopus, go get you some pulpo and go stand by. Mm. One of Patterson's hidden gems, go stand by. And I wouldn't have known it if it wasn't for my Dominican friends. Shout out to my Dominican friends. Um, This is so good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my taste buds. Mm. Yes, child. Mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. I would share with y'all if I could. <laughs> That's a lie. I ain't sharing none of this, okay? This is too good to share. I'll buy your own plate. You know, that's a complaint I have about people too. Mmm. Mmm. Shaw is so good. One of my complaints about people is that, well, let me start with myself. I'll talk about myself. I am not a good sharer when it comes to certain things. Like, I'm the type of person. If I say I'm going to the store, right? Mm. Oh, it's just so damn good. Sorry, I got distracted. Mm. Mm. Finger looking good. It ain't fried chicken. Um, I'm going to tell you people, if I say I'm going to the store, and I say, do you want something? And you say, no, you don't want nothing? I'm standing on you, you don't want nothing, okay? I'm standing on that shit. So when I come back with my plate looking all juicy and good like this, don't be asking me for no bite, okay? I'm not good at sharing my food, especially when it's something that I like. If I do share with you, that means you, I, I hold you very dear to my heart if I share my food with you. However, it doesn't mean that I wouldn't say, you know, if you want something, I'll get it for you. So I'll buy myself this plate for me and I'll buy you another one just like it. You can have it to yourself because I don't like to share. Um, this is definitely not a plate that I would share. You know, 
maybe if I love you, maybe, but even when I love you, the love that I have for my food <laughs> is on some next level. So yeah, I'm probably not sharing. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I'm not stop eating this. I don't want to eat it all. I want to say something later. Mm. Yes, child. Doing it. All right. Let me stop eating this. Okay. This right here, definitely a 10 out of 10. Hands down, 10 out of 10, okay? But I did get me some dessert, which is a... Uh, Spanish fruit staple, flan. Now, let me tell y'all something. Flan is to Hispanic people the way potato salad is to black people. You can't eat everybody flan, okay? Everybody don't make their flan the right way. It don't always be hitting on all levels. So it's definitely one of them types of things. Before I get my flan, let me clear my palate with my ginger ale because y'all know how I feel about ginger ale. Burn so good. Okay, so for those of you who have never seen flan, I don't know if you can read it, flan, F-L-A-N. This is kind of like a, I would say it's almost like a custard almost. And mm, it has like a caramel type of flavor. I don't know if you can see. Can you guys see? And it has like juices, like these sweet juices in the bottom of the container. Um, definitely like a custard. That's how I would call it. I'm not sure how they make it, but it's definitely heavenly. So let's see what's up with it. You can see, look how decadent that is. It's soaked in all those sweet juices. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's talk about it. So I've had a lot of flan. What I will say about this flan is that the flavor is good, but the consistency is a little too um, gelatiny for me. I like my flan a little softer. Like, I shouldn't really have to, like, chew it. Um, you should be able to put it in your mouth and just squish it. This one, I got to chew a little bit. Um, it's not as light and fluffy as I would like. But the flavor is good. So, I don't think Cold Stop by makes this. They probably buy it. So, I ain't going to let them wear that. But you is selling it, so you should test what you're selling. Um, so I would say on a scale of 1 to 10 out of the flans I've had in my life, because I've done had some good flan. I mean, Abuelita done made me the flan. You know what Abuelita be, co be cooking, she be putting it down. Abuelita means grandmother in Spanish. All the old Spanish women in the family know how to cook. I've never met an old Spanish woman that didn't know how to throw down. They always make all the food. Um, so this is okay. I'll give it a... The 8 out of 10. Definitely not grandma's flan. We'll scratch the itch. Okay, so. With all that being said. My final rating. For one of my favorite Dominican places. Coast Town Park. Of Patterson, New Jersey. I get it a, a 9 out of 10. And I only took a point off for the flan. And the fact of the matter is they have so much food that if you get one thing you don't like, you can definitely go in there and get 5 million other things that you're going to love. So if you never had Dominican food, you really want to try it, check out Ghost on Bar in Patterson. You won't be disappointed. I'm about to go back to my plate because I got to do what I got to do. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So much flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Yes, Lord. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Definitely hitting on all levels. Y'all need to get up on it. Mm hmm. Get up on it. Hey, yo. Thanks for watching. My contact information is below. Please go like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your support is as always appreciated. If you want to show that support with them dollars, though, throw your girl a cash app. You feel me? Until we meet again, smooth as mm.